Whilst many organizations are moving towards more modern RESTful APIs that process data in a data format, such as JSON, YAML, or XML, the reality is that many organizations continue to use systems that process documents using EDI. Sometimes it may even be a prerequisite to do business with a major supplier or customer that you have the capability to communicate electronically via EDI. This demo will show you how to process an EDI document and write the contents of it to an SQL database. The demo will demonstrate a use case for processing a purchase order that was created using the EDFACT EDI standard. However, it can equally apply to processing other EDI documents, including those that use the X12 standard. When you start Martini, you'll be greeted with a welcome screen containing demos for integrating systems, building workflows, designing APIs, or creating applications. Scroll down and click on Demo 001 EDI to SQL and click Install. When the pop-up appears, simply click on Finish. The package, as well as the other package dependencies, will be automatically downloaded. The package would then appear on your navigator. Right-click the package and click Start. A green icon will indicate it has started while a test procedure that you can follow will also appear on your screen. So let's do this test together. In the navigator, open the folder Demo001 EDI to SQL and Endpoints. The Endpoints EDI Dropbox Directory Watcher and Processed EDI Docs Directory Watcher should already be started as indicated by the green lights. Next, let's simulate a customer putting a purchase order in EDI format into a Dropbox. A sample EDI document can be found if you open the Resources folder. Here's our EDI document, edi850.txt. You can check the contents of this document by double-clicking it. All right, looks good. Now, let's copy the file by right-clicking and hitting Copy. In the same Resources folder, you should see the EDI Dropbox folder. If it's not here, simply right-click the Resources folder and hit Refresh. And there it is. We can now right-click on the folder EDI Dropbox and click Paste. And as you can see, our EDI document is now in the Dropbox. The endpoint EDI Dropbox Directory Watcher has been configured to listen for new files written to the Dropbox folder path. The endpoint will have detected that a new file has been written to the path and has run the associated service to process it. The service uses a library to read the EDI document and convert it to XML. The XML file is then mapped to a table in SQL database. Let's verify that the EDI document was written to the database. Go to the core folder and then go to queries. Now let's open demo001, select all purchase order.sql. Run the query by pressing the run query button at the upper right corner. We can now confirm that the data from the EDI document has been written to the database. If you want to run the demo again, simply create a new EDI document or modify the sample document and copy the file to the Dropbox. To modify the sample EDI document, simply double-click it in the Resources folder. Let's change the line item being ordered by changing the color of the SKU on line 16 from orange to blue. Now, click on Save. Copy and paste the modified document into the EDI Dropbox. A prompt will automatically give the new document a unique name, so just click OK. As before, the Directory Watcher endpoint will have now automatically processed the EDI document and written it to the database. Let's run the select query again to view the new record in the database. And there it is. A new record with a blue widget has been written to the database. To learn how all of that worked and how the integration was carried out, you can check a line-by-line -line guide in our Knowledge Base article. You can get started with Martini for free at ToroCloud. Dot com. Please feel free to leave a comment, hit that like button if this demo helped, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more instructional videos such as this one.